Hello, my name is Alex, and this is the English Oneer, where we look into what people say in English and why they say it. In this video, we're going to look at what we call collocations and how to highlight what we are saying, add a bit more emphasis, make it more powerful. So, what, first of all, is a collocation? Well, these are commonly found groupings of words, like two or three or perhaps four words, that we commonly find and use together. Here are a few examples of adverbs emphasizing adjectives. Indisputably wrong, highly regarded, deeply suspicious, happily married, blissfully ignorant, meaning completely unaware. Duly elected, patently clear, obviously mistaken, undeniably better, painfully shy. As mentioned, they are often found together. It doesn't mean that you can mix and match them. For example, you would be unlikely to hear somebody say blissfully clear, although you might hear blissfully married, as blissfully means happily if that's possible. So, how does one learn which words go together? Well, as they are just generally accepted expressions, there are no real rules. And therefore, you just need to pay attention to what other people say. I'll put some links to exercises in the description below if you want to give it a try. Let's put some of those in a sentence then, and you can see how they might be used. Dominique lives a lifestyle of wealth and is blissfully unaware of how poor people live. Jack, the duly elected mayor of Castleford, was unable to take up his position as he was infuriatingly dead. Frida was sure that she saw her husband with another woman, but he ensured her that she was obviously mistaken and it must have been his identical twin brother. Susan is painfully shy and refuses to talk to anyone, even her dog. If you want to try out some of these expressions or even just ask a question, just leave a message in the comment section below. It's often the case that learners make the mistake of using the word very instead of many, this often being the same word in their language. You know, they say, I have very friends instead of many friends. As a teacher, I always said to them, you don't use very with nouns, just with adjectives. Now, here's the thing. I was lying. Or at least I was delaying the truth in order not to create too much confusion in their heads. So we can actually use the word very with some nouns, but this gives a different meaning and is used to emphasize them. And it means the actual or precise thing. Look at the following sentences. I've just bought a new house and I've just discovered it was the very house where Shakespeare lived in London. As you can see, this use of very means precisely or exactly. Here's another example. I heard my daughter said daddy yesterday for the very first time. Mine said the very same thing as well, but she's 23 and was asking for money. Here are some other examples. Oh, hi, Daniel. I'm glad I bumped into you. You are the very person I wanted to speak to. This law is the very foundation of our society. Rabbits are, by their very nature, fearful animals. I saw him insult the teacher before my very eyes. The very thought of going back there terrifies me. Finally, we can compare an adjective to something that reminds us how intense it is. So instead of just saying that the water in a river is clear, we can say it is crystal clear. Rather than say that the darkness is very black, we can say it's pitch black. Or describe somebody's hair as being jet black. As an alternative to saying that something is just very hot, we can say it's boiling hot, 
The opposite would be ice cold. After being out in the torrential rain, you might be soaking wet. And to describe a place where it hasn't rained in a long time, you might describe it as bone dry. What would you compare something to if it was very white? How about snow white? And if it were blue, it could be navy blue or sky blue or sea blue. A person could not just be right, but dead right. In fact, this word, this morbid word dead, can be used to emphasize a number of adjectives. It's quite common and it means complete or completely. So we have dead quiet, dead tired, dead simple. Dead drunk, dead center, dead stop, and dead serious. Here's some examples. I was dead serious when I told you to do your homework, young lady. The truck came to a dead stop just before hitting the school bus. We can often make uh, these kinds of strong comparisons using the as as structure, even though they don't necessarily make so much sense at first glance. So we can have something being as clean as a whistle, as smart as a whip, as dumb as a doornail, as blind as a bat, as deaf as a post, as delicate as a flower as dead as a dodo, as drunk as a skunk, as fit as a fiddle, as good as gold, as free as a bird, as mad as a hatter, as quiet as a church mouse, as white as a sheet. Or you can use it in the following way with like. I have a memory like a sieve. She runs like the wind. I'm working like a dog. My kids fight like cats and dogs. My boss cried like a baby. He ran away like a bat out of hell. She was caught like a deer in the headlights. She spends money like there's no tomorrow. They're actually so much fun to visualize. I may create a whole series on these kinds of expressions. The really fun thing about English is that we can make it up as we go along. We can make our own expressions. There aren't any real restrictions on what we can make up. After all, William Shakespeare himself created thousands of words and expressions from bandit to break the ice. So if he can do it, why can't we? I've just come up with a few, so let's see how I go. Marcus is as slow as a snowflake falling on the moon. Francis looks as miserable as a cat in a rainstorm. Now, I know I'm no Shakespeare, but they're not that bad. How creative can you be? Try making some up and putting them in the comment section below. It might be a bit of fun. If you've enjoyed this or this series of videos and more importantly feel that you have learned something, or even if you have something to contribute, why don't you give us a like or subscribe? That would really help our channel. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. I hope. Till next time, bye bye.